already regret doing this, kind of. I don't know. Today, we are doing the 24 hour challenge with no phones. I don't know how I'm gonna do because I honestly have a terrible addiction to my phone. It is currently, see I can't use my phone to check the time. Got a laptop right here. It is currently, now we have to wait for it to turn on. It's like nine-ish, nine-ish. And I've honestly been on my phone all day and I've been thinking about doing this YouTube challenge for a while, so I'm like, Why am I hiding my phone in plain sight? Well, I'm one, I'm too lazy to kind of lift this table up. It's very difficult to get back down. So I'm just gonna feel like doing it again. And I also forget where my phone is about every like 10 seconds. So I'm going to forget where that is within the next 10 seconds, it's guaranteed. It's 8.59 and our 24 hour challenge begins. I feel like I'm not going to struggle with it that much like I am terribly addicted to social media and just anything and everything on my phone but if I had to I feel like I could go without it tomorrow we're having lunch at my mom's place and then her neighborhood is having like a little bouncy house get together thing for the kids around 12 and then the bouncy house thing starts at 2 and so we're gonna be there for like a good chunk of the day so I don't think that's gonna be a huge struggle, but I know that tonight I'm really gonna struggle. I use the flashlight on my phone to waddle around the room at night because Noah's sleeping, Cora's sleeping. I'm the last one to get to bed. So I need my flashlight so I don't blind everyone as I sleep. And I don't have a flashlight, so I, maybe I will just carry this computer everywhere. I don't know. I do have my computer, so I guess this is gonna be a test to see like how long I would actually spend on the computer like because i know for sure i'm going to go on the computer and watch like youtube or whatever whenever i have time or whenever i am bored but i feel like i'm definitely barely gonna be on the computer i'm not gonna lie i had a lot of stuff to do today i have like this whole to-do list and i've barely gotten through it all i did was clean backs and i haven't done laundry and i've been meaning to do that all day so like now i can actually not be distracted and do all the cleaning and I think Noah also wants to go to the store to get hydrogen peroxide and I want cookies so I think we have a plan for tonight one hour later okay I was stupid and I left or I forgot the camera at home whenever we went to Target but I got my cookies I already ate one of them in the car because I couldn't wait and ate half of one whenever we got home so that is a part of my dinner for tonight. I'm gonna probably have like half of the box. I laid out chicken earlier to defrost because I wanted to make honey garlic chicken for dinner with some rice and like some broccoli or something. I'm way too tired, way too lazy. I can't do it. So making this stuff. It's a pesto rotini with cherry tomatoes. I realized that I really needed to pee when we got home. You want another piece of cookie? Okay, I realized that I really needed to pee whenever we got home. And the first thing I did was reach into her diaper bag to find my phone so that I could use the restroom and be entertained for a second. <laughs> I didn't have my phone. Here you go. Do you not want cookie? Okay, I'll eat it. She wants ice. Ah. Here you go, ice. So weird. I haven't noticed that. I use my phone every single time I'm in the bathroom. Every time. What are you supposed to do whenever you're using the restroom? Like, are you supposed to stare in a space? Like, I don't know. But I mean, I think that's the only problem I've ran into so far. Like, I don't feel that bad. I know I'm probably gonna watch um, a show on Hulu on the computer whenever I'm eating, but haven't gone on social media. Oh, I almost dropped my bowl. Look at that beautiful bowl of pasta. Yes, I stole two of Cora's nuggets. I think I'm gonna watch Fresh Off a Boat right now on Hulu. I feel like I'm caught up on all of my shows I'm really excited about. So Fresh Off the Boat to me is like one of those shows where it like starts off really good, but then like as you continue to watch on, like we're on season five right now, it just gets kind of old. 
But I mean, it's still good. So I'm gonna watch Fresh Off the Boat and eat my dinner. One eternity later. Hey guys, I have to be super, super quiet because everyone's asleep. But I'm gonna be honest, I feel like absolute poop. I'm so tired <laughs> not having my phone while having like my me time, like being able to go into the bathroom and shower, get ready for bed, do all my night routine stuff, use the restroom without my phone has been like a breath of fresh air. Like it's so much different than doing all that with my phone. Whenever you become a parent, you really realize how significant like having your own time is every time i get a chance to have me time i'm usually on my phone and i didn't realize like the little things like i go on my phone whenever i turn on the water and wait for it to get hot before i go into the tub or go into the bath the second i get out of the bath i dry myself off and i grab my phone and i lay on on the bed for a little and i relaxed and what's weird is like I get so tired like I just feel like I'm ready to go to bed whenever I'm laying in bed after showering and I'm on my phone but like whenever I was laying in bed without my phone and I was just closing my eyes you would think that I would get tired but I really really didn't I felt really relaxed but I I also felt like refreshed um super super glad that I'm doing this challenge I'm not even like halfway through this challenge and I already can tell that I have a lot more patience with things because I'm letting my brain relax a little more so I'm just gonna clock out for the night and hopefully get a ton of rest because I need it good night you guys the next day <laughs> Slept and I woke up at 11.57 when the lunch here was like 12 o'clock. So we're already at my mom's. Hello. Can you believe I'm doing a 24-hour challenge without my phone? Are you for real? Mm-hmm.
When did you start? Yesterday at like nine. Does that oh, mean, like no like no phone? Like no YouTube or anything too? So like no like, phone, I and can, iPad and like tablet and stuff. I can go on my computer and watch YouTube if I want, but like you can't really like, bring it wherever you go. That's gonna be hard. <laughs> I didn't realize like okay, I use the phone every time I'm peeing, every single time. I didn't realize that. And then whenever I turn the hot water on, I just like wait for the hot wa like for the water to come, and I'm like on my phone like scrolling. But last night I went into the bathroom and I like showered and I used the restroom. And I got ready for bed without my phone. It felt good. I want to try that. It's gonna be hard. I could do I could do no phone, but I can't do no phone or iPad because then I can't text anybody. <laughs> you need to uh, try it. It feels good. Cause it's like your brain is like always working, but whenever you have like nothing at all, it's like kind of relaxing. That's like another level. Of I want both of them. I literally okay. I put it in a box and I take it and everything, so I wouldn't like touch your. Ear. What about if your mom like touches your I told her last night. I was like, if you need me, message Noah. Oh wow. Cora, are you okay now? Yeah. It is. 3.20 right now. We are home, I guess, early. We got we left earlier than everyone else and we we're like the last one that arrived because we're always late. But um, they, there are a few struggles. I forgot to tell um, my aunt that I could watch David because he's like the cutest baby ever, but I forgot to tell him that. And so I was like, okay, I'll like get on my computer. Um, I don't know how often they check their emails. So I'm gonna go on Instagram and then I'm gonna message my sisters because they check it like every second and they'll get the notifications and then my sister can tell my aunt and so I go on Instagram on the computer and I like can't find the option to send a DM and then I'm over here googling like can you send a DM on your laptop on Instagram and apparently you can't and so I ended up like going to my email and was like oh Cora she's making the camera all shaky but um are you getting your butt in the <laughs> But um, I just sent my aunt like a quick email and maybe she will see it, I don't know. That's honestly been like the only struggle today though with my phone. My tongue is blue because I had snow cones. They had like Kona ice there and they had a bouncy house. But Cora didn't get to go to the bouncy house because there are big kids in there. I'm trying to get Cora to bed now and this is kind of the time where I'm like on my phone the most. She's on her tablet, I'm on my phone and we're just like relaxing and getting ready to take a nap. It's just like the perfect time to kind of just scroll through my phone and just like, I don't know, scroll through Instagram and like see what videos come up. So I feel like I've been very productive. Um, I think right now I'm going to clean some dishes. Whoa, I know, crazy. I usually spend her nap time relaxing and having some me time and then finishing off like editing the video and stuff like that. And I already got like the clips that I've already recorded into the computer, which is crazy. Never happens. Later that same evening. Okay, I just realized that it's like 6.30 right now and I'm almost done with this challenge. That is insane. It hasn't felt like 24 hours. Everything's been really easy. I've kept myself occupied. Cora just woke up and I just finished with the dishes as she woke up, so it's great. I'm gonna try and make some honey garlic chicken tonight with some rice and like broccoli or something like that. Cora really likes cooking with me. I've noticed that two-year-olds really enjoy being interactive and doing things like playing pretend or like doing stuff with you. Um, so she's gonna cook with me. She gets a little fussy whenever we cook together and I tell her she can't do something because she gets so, so excited, which is very, very cute. But we're gonna try and hopefully she'll be a good girl because usually she doesn't let me cook, but she's doing everything with mommy today and hopefully it turns out well. One of our lights are out right behind you, so lighting's a little off. But we are going to be making rice first. How much rice should we make for? Should we do like two cups? See that? Mommy's doing this so the rice can get clean. Thank you, she's picking up the little bits of rice on the stove that I dropped. Okay, now we cook the rice. I think that's enough water, you think? Yeah. I think the first thing we have to do is cut the chicken. I need to like butterfly cut it. And I don't want her to touch any of the raw chicken, so I'm a little nervous, but I know if I put her down, she's gonna cry, so. 
Yay, dinner is done. I didn't want to record the whole process because I know some of y'all like don't like seeing raw meat. So um, dinner wasn't like 100% a success. It was going very, very well until like the last minute. Um, I was changing for a diaper and I wasn't focusing on the food for a second. And so the sauce kind of burned at the bottom and so like some of the chicken, like right here is burnt at the bottom. It's supposed to be dark, but like obviously those, that is burnt. It is 7.33. We have like an hour and 30 minutes before I can have my phone back. And I like honestly don't mind not having my phone right now. I'm just like, eh. Cora has been showing me that she wants to drink out of a normal cup. If she doesn't practice, like how is she ever gonna drink out of a normal cup? So, have a normal cup of water and I'm gonna trust her for a second. She's probably gonna spill it all over herself, but that's okay. Practice makes perfect. This is your cup. She put rice in it, what? You put rice in your cup, that's not okay. I'm gonna give you water. Get some more one. She's getting water, but she's being so careful about it. I'm so proud of her. Oh my goodness. I just finished giving Cora a bath, and it is like 9 o'clock right now. It doesn't even feel like 9 o'clock. It doesn't feel like it's been 24 hours. I can have my phone back now. I don't know how to explain this. I'm feeling a mix of emotions because I feel like having this back is bad. Like I shouldn't be doing it. I feel super guilty for some reason because it's addicting. But I'm not gonna lie, like the past 24 hours, I never felt like I was dying and I like absolutely needed my phone. I never felt that way. I did so much better than I thought I would do, honestly. I love, love spending time with like all of the babies in our family. They're so cute. Like I just love family time. That kept me occupied. Cora kept me occupied. Like today was great. Uh, moving forward, definitely gonna try and like put my phone down more, especially whenever I have a lot of stuff to do. Usually I get, like let's say I have to do laundry. I'm like, ugh, I, I like it better where I'm sitting right now on the couch and I'm just gonna like watch another, one more YouTube video. And then I get drawn into the recommendations thing and then I end up watching like 50 more YouTube videos after that and then I get nothing done. Here it is, da -da -da, turning it on. <laughs> Ta-da, oh my goodness, it's at like 13%. Let's see how many notifications I have. It says two missed calls from husband a day ago. I think he forgot that I didn't have my phone this morning. They told me to tell you we can't eat till you get here and everyone is here and hungry, dot, dot, dot. I felt so bad. I literally woke up when everyone was there, but yeah. I survived the 24 hour challenge, guys. Have my phone back. I highly encourage y'all to try this. 24 hours, no phone at all. But yeah, I hope that you guys like this video. If you wanna see more challenges like this, please hit the like button and make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. Um, we will see y'all next time.